Good evening. I don't normally do videos after the sun goes down. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I don't. I usually do them first thing in the morning. Which would probably make more sense if I was giving, you know, more in-depth and opinion, all that kind of stuff. But I'm not really doing that. I'm just trying to show what I've got clearly. I um, haven't decided what I'll do in the next go round because I want to give a, a bunch of these away. I just don't know how or when or or which. I, I think that covers it all, right? But this is the ordered a while back. I think on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. The Deviant Moon Tarot Borderless Edition. I gifted away the one I had before and the book because I've read the book so I won't read all that but that's the box just a regular old US games tuck box if you're into boxes we'll see this card in there we'll also see we see the wheel of fortune right there I think one of the other cards I was thinking of is actually the cover for the book think anyway this one comes with a little white book which is pretty little but you know let's see what the date is 2013 hmm. it took that long to become borderless that's okay I guess the book was really good by the way it's like you know it's also heavy as the Dickens. Maybe there's a PDF or something equivalent. I don't know. Maybe if he's watching, he would make a PDF available. <laughs> I don't. I don't see it on here. Maybe I should look at his website. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I probably wouldn't use it very often. That's just me, though. I mean, if it, the art and theme and all that resonate with you you should use it but that's a uh, you know advertising like card that's what the backs are like which I believe are somehow different from the previous backs I'm not sure if the color showing up here in person this is like I don't know you want to say like a dark chocolate brown but this is almost black I have extra lights on just to see if that helps so I'll leave that turned over so you can see the back if it shows up in there and here's the full card look at that no borders for me this could have been smaller and I have poor eyesight now but that could have been you know smaller just bring it down but we'll see what the number cards look like well, that is a number card, but you know, the, what do you call them, pips, those cards. We'll see what those look like in a second. So I'll put the fool somewhere where he kind of shows up. Uh, let's cover the book, or just move the book out of the way. There's the fool. Ugh. I'm having arrangement problems. These are kind of long. Let's compare them to a st what some people would call a standard U.S. games card. Which I guess I can't call it that anymore because there are many standards. But this is the card you can buy a blank of. I'll say it that way. It's not as wide, but it's, you know, a half inch taller. Impressive. So that's the first two rows. I could not get a third row. So I had to go to the difficult to reach board. <sighs> so hopefully you get a Nice, long, clear look at those. I'll wait a bit, just in case. And here's the third row from the Devil through to the World card. And this is just another card that was in there, more advertising information. Sorry about the, if you hear the dog barking. That's what that dog does every evening, despite my complaints. It's not the dog's fault. Poor thing is 
left alone too much and she's uh, a huge dog like a German Shepherd like wolf like something I don't know but she's she's left alone and then they redid their fence so the poor thing can't see out so you know any little noise triggers a round of barking and I'll do that just in case maybe just scoot it over just in case that lights causing a glare which I think it is sorry so this is the swords and it was in the box going from King down to Ace and that's interesting huh on the numbers well not on the Ace but on 2 through 10 it doesn't repeat the word sword sword swords because it's pretty obvious the swords I like that I wonder if that was the same in the previous one maybe it was whoa the king of wands is trying to escape no you don't buddy get back in there back in there with your other wand friends this is the cover of the book I think minus I don't know if the hands were there or not hmm, 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 hmm. that's the six of wands is that what we're in yep wands it's a little pea pie baby I don't remember that card why don't I remember that card did I not have that card oh well, that's a disturbing image uh, like girl legs but old man head hmm. Mm -hmm. okay here comes the cups and did I say that I would be keeping this one? I will keep it. It's kind of a, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I see it as kind of a landmark thing, the art itself, and the fact that it's borderless. I do remember this from the book. That was an interesting little section. So that's the cups. Here come last but not least. Okay, they might be least. This is the pentacles. And hopefully those are going to show up without me having a shade. I'll do it just in case. Hmm. And this one looked familiar is that what was on the front of the box yes it was the queen of pentacles and we already saw the wheel of fortune i'm looking to see if there's anything else so that was the a quick lay down show of the deviant moon tarot but the borderless edition which i got from amazon and it's by patrick valenza who has a in the book has a whole story behind the thing and kind of a lifelong kind of project I guess so with that I will say peace